Hi guys, it's Azim again from Redisco.com. In the previous video tutorial, we set up our development environment for Play Framework in IntelliJ and now in this video, I will show you how to set up your development environment for Eclipse IDE. So, for this you need to download uh, Eclipse. From here go to this download packages and from here select your operating system and the IDE that you want to download which is Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Download uh, either 64 bit or 32 bit according to your operating system. I'm going to download 64 bit. Because I have already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel this download and uh, let's uh, install Eclipse. This is the zip file that you will get. I want you to copy this into C drive or you can copy it anywhere but uh, I prefer it to in program folder. Copy it here. Continue. Create new folder here and call it Eclipse. Right click on the zip file and then click on extract all and then just remove all of this. Then click on extract. Click on continue. Now it will extract all of these uh, files to this folder. Now go to this Eclipse folder and copy this Eclipse file. Close this and uh, paste shortcut. So our Eclipse ID is ready. Now let's uh, go to play documentation. Go to documentation and click on this link getting started then click on setting your preferred IDE now from here just copy this line and go to your project this is the example project that we downloaded in our previous tutorial so go to project folder and open this plugins.sbt file Now add this plugin into this file and save this file. Okay, perfect. Now here we can see that we need to compile our project again and then we can run this Eclipse command to convert our project into Eclipse importable project. Now press shift and right click on this area and then click on this open command window here. Here we need to type SPT, press enter, it's downloading this SPT plugin for Eclipse. Now type compile. Now type Eclipse to convert this project into Eclipse project. Now we can import this project into Eclipse. Let's uh, fire up our Eclipse IDE. Now click on file and then click on import then select journal and then click on existing project into workspace then click on next now click on browse and uh, go to the location where our project is 
so this is the our project click on ok and then click on finish let's change it from hello play to hello play from eclipse perfect our application server is running now let's go to localhost 9000 and we should get this string so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos if you guys like this video then please like it if you dislike it then dislike it see you in the next video thank you so much for watching